should we abolish wealth? Um, you know, there's been this uh, end poverty campaign, and uh, I'm all about ending poverty. I'm all about the plans. Uh, uh, I mean, a lot of that stuff matters a lot in terms of global justice and, and the changes in, in structures. Uh, um, but to end poverty, it seems to me, we'll also have to end wealth in the sense that, uh, that we just think it's normal, you know, that the CEO of a company makes 300 times uh, the people who work for it, or that we just think it's normal that people who live in this country uh, can, can, can live, uh, you know, at a standard of living that's just unimaginable imaginable to most people in the world. Uh, is God trying to end wealth? Well, uh, only to the extent that, uh, that God's trying to bring us all to a place where, uh, where we can share life together and enjoy the life we were made for. I love the vision of the Magnificat where it says that the, that the mighty will be brought down low and the low places will be lifted up to prepare a way for the Lord so that all can see the glory of God together. I think that's what God's economy is bringing us into. And so uh, God's economy is a place where, um, you know, like, like Jesus said, it's hard for a rich, rich person to get in because um, if a rich person gets in, then he won't be rich anymore because if a poor person gets in, he won't be poor anymore because uh, we'll, we'll share with whoever has need. Socialism. Is it socialism? I don't think so because, um, because the, the idea of socialism is that you can manufacture this uh, with the state. And uh, the brilliance of Jesus is that Jesus doesn't try to institute this from the top down. Jesus says, uh, uh, through tactics, we can slip it in and, uh, and, and, and begin to make it happen in relationships on the ground in the places where we are such that it grows up and, and just takes over. So I don't think we need to get rid of capitalism um, uh, or try to you know, mount a campaign against socialism in the places where it exists, but rather we need, to, we need to live God's economy on the grassroots with the faith that it's like kudzu. It'll grow and take over everything.